This conference will now be recorded. Yesterday we have created a SQL server in my local computer. At the same time, the same SQL server setup inside the ES application. ES means infrastructure as a service. I have set up some, some infrastructure over here. In this infrastructure, in this infrastructure, we are uh, installing a SQL server. And that SQL server is same, similar like a SQL server in your local computer. Whatever the SQL server install and have uh, features over here, same set of SQL uh, features you have in the SQL install in your virtual computer as well. So when you required a SQL server along with a infrastructure, in your local computer, the infrastructure will be depends on the RAM and memory processors of your local computer. When inside the cloud environment, the infrastructure will be depends on the virtual machine, whatever the capacity you are taking, it will. So the difference between these two is your infrastructure maintenance will be taken care by you, but inside here is your infrastructure, nothing but virtual machine, everything will be taken care by Azure only. You are just taking care of the SQL Server service inside the virtual machine. The performance of your SQL Server, backup, restore, upgrades, everything you have to take in care. And let's say for example, SQL Server contains several editions, several versions, like 2012th version, 16th version, 90th version. This is how we have different versions. For example, in my local computer, I have installed a 2016th version. The 16th version, whatever the database we have, that I want to migrate into cloud environment with the same set of version. So definitely you need to select the SQL in virtual version because these two will not support the earlier versions. Always the SQL database and SQL managed instance, whatever you are creating, both should be latest versions. Default, these two are the latest versions of 2019. Then when you are going to load this data, there might be some compatibility issues will come. So you need only 2016th version, then definitely you need to choose SQL in virtual machine because inside the virtual machine whichever the version you want to install you can able to select that version clear okay so the next thing is I don't require this infrastructure I don't require the SQL server with these many features I just need a logical server means I don't know where the server is running. I don't require this virtual machine. I just need a simple database. I just need a simple database and whatever the database we are creating, it is running on top of a particular server. That is a SQL server. We are creating that SQL server logically means we don't know what is the capacity of the server where exactly it is running we are just creating a database and using the database that's all how to create a simple database because i don't require so many features available on the sql server level right so let me go to the sql management studio when you are installing the sql server in your local computer and virtual machine you will get a lot of uh, features over here, right? I don't require any features of this one. I just need one sample database 
to store the data whatever is coming from my application i am going to start designing a new application so for that application is a, a movie ticket booking application so when people are downloading a app and booking the movie tickets that data whatever the movie they are uh, booking immediately that information needs to come into a simple data which that's all okay i need a movie booking app and i want to store into the azure sql database all right in that kind of such situations we can use this azure sql database let's go inside how to create and the performance backup restore maintenance SLA means a service level agreement. They are making 99.99 percentage availability. That means this Azure SQL database service is always available. The downtime they are making this point percentage. Okay, this will not get all the features only few features available in the sql server it will get So let me log into the Azure database as well. Alright, so I'm going to create a SQL database. See here, we have a SQL database service. Or you can go over here, type SQL database. You can select the SQL database as well. Or you can select Azure SQL as well. Okay, so I'm going to select SQL databases. So what I'm going to do, there is someone already created one database. Let me create my own database. Click on create.
okay so here you need to provide what is your subscription it's a free trial subscription what is your resource group specify the resource group name and uh, what is your database e classes db and uh, what is the sql server name someone created in a shush db i want to create a new server a sql server creation is a simple step create new give server name e classes sql 3 this is the server name i'm giving automatically in the backend it will create one logical sql server and the server admin login just set some username password to connect to the sql server all right then click play so you are going to create a database database name is e classes db on which server and the server name is e classes sql 3 to 1 and for this particular server what is the capacity how much capacity you are going to assign we are going to assign the capacity to azure sql database in two models in two models one is dtus the second one is v core processors Okay, so SQL in virtual machine. And Azure SQL database. So, this Azure SQL database computation means uh, the performance will be depends on the number of DTUs what you are providing or the V core processors. DTU stands for data transaction units v core processor means so core processors the v core processor model is one model and the dtu model is different model. so whichever you want you can take it here so compute plus storage how much memory you want to allocate for this one to store your data that memory you can allocate and uh, number of DTOs. Based on the number of DTOs, your database performance will be increased. So simply click on this configure database. Uh, Ram, I have a question here. Uh, uh, before creating the database in uh, Azure Virtual Mission, so yes. when it comes to working with other countries like Thailand, Malaysia, Singapore, uh, specific countries, we need to set the database language settings like uh, supporting their language. So how do we configure before uh, you know creating the database? Yeah, there is a collation setting available. 
at the time of creating the service mm -hmm. so you can see the collation actually okay under the advanced but here uh, we don't see that option uh... for azure sql database we don't have that okay so this is a simple service to storing the data okay so even if it is a thailand or whatever it is what is the language you are storing inside it's english language right yes no, but for other countries uh, our database should support their uh, language also you mean uh, uh, are they going to store the data like in a telugu language something like that yes i don't think so okay anyhow so we'll see that one so, okay. yeah. so normally we'll select code page so uh, for other uh, i mean for other countries languages we'll select other uh, code page okay so here you can uh, select either dt model under the dt model you have three things basic for less demanding workloads you can choose this one and uh, the second one is standard for workloads with typical performance requirement and premium so every dt which dt you contain some specific performance like compute and in uh, ram cpu some input output to processing speed if you don't want to go with this dt model if you want to go with the v core based purchasing model core processors so we have again three things general purpose hyperscale and business uh, critical so based on your requirement you can select i just want to take only dtu for this less demanding workloads so how many number of, how much space you want to allocate you can allocate i want to take just five dtu sorry and each dtu cost is 71 rupees 5 into 71 359 rupees per monthly cost of this database what you are going to create over here so whatever the compute storage you are making here this is dedicated to only this database what is this database this database is e classes d the database just now i created say e classes db i have given the number of dtus five dtus and i have given just one gb of the memory okay so this is my application like a ticket booking application so this application will work in the india location the people who are all doing the transactions from india location will come to this database similarly i want to create one more database same as your sql database only. i want to create one more database and uh, I'm going to connect to the US region. Okay, same in another database as well. I'm taking five DTUs this database is storing the transactions coming from usdb and this is india db india db and usdb so if you observe here generally in the afternoon times of india have more the ticket bookings than the computation of this Five DTUs will be used to process the transactions. At the time, the afternoon times of India location, the five DTUs of your database is keeping idea. Am I right? Similarly, in the afternoons of US hours, the five DTUs of the India are keeping ideal, but you are paying for monthly basis. Whether you are using this 5 DTUs or not, 
but you need to pay the amount right so why are you keeping this computation the capacity whatever the infrastructure you are providing the dtos you are unnecessarily, you are unnecessarily keeping ideal in some time so why can't you use those five dtos for example in some day your us transactions are very high then at the time the five dtos are not able to handling the ap transactions you are offering a tickets then because of that reason many customers are coming over here many customers are coming over here for this dt uh, for to to book the tickets at a time at that time to handle those many transactions this five dt's are not enough so why can't you use this five dt's at the time five plus five ten and similarly in the afternoons of india why can't you use this five dt's five plus five ten that is called sharing of the resources sharing of the resources among the multiple databases to share these resources you should not assign these dtus at the database level you need to create a common elastic pool between these two common elastic pool elastic pool means it's a grouping of the databases under one particular pool to sharing the resources so then i don't want to specify this five dtus or one gb over here and this five dtus or two gb over here i'm going to keep over here whatever the 10 dtus i'm going to assign and whatever the 10 gb i'm going to specify so automatically based on the workload the dtus utilization will be shared among the multiple databases if only one dt is enough here then nine dtus is required then it will execute over clear if one dt is available here so this is how we are going to perform over here that is called elastic pool so where we can set that elastic pool see here so do you want to use the elastic pool yes and what is the name of this elastic pool you want to give click on create i am going to give it as a e classes pool then click ok so minimum 50 dtus you need to take so configure the elastic pool so how much memory you want to take i just want to take minimum 50 gb minimum 50 dtus okay take it basic actually done now you can click on apply so whatever you created right 50 dtus and 5 gb will be shared in future when i am creating a next another database i will add this dtu i will add this elastic pool same elastic pool i will add then the resources whatever we allocated on this elastic pool will be shared to that database as well and a backup strategy and redundancy storage redundancy backup storage redundancy geo redundant and a local redundant storage is available in all regions zone redundant storage is available in regions with availability zones so locally how do you want to store this durability means uh, microsoft is azure is going to maintain three copies microsoft is going to maintain three copies so out of these three copies where you want to store those three copies of the backup of your database it's a lrs means local 
in the same data center it is going to store this is a new feature added recently earlier we don't have this one then zone redundant means it will be stored in different data centers available in different zones geographic geo redundant backup storage main it's in a different geographical locations they are dividing their data centers local different zones and different geo redundancy okay all right i just want to give it uh, locally and go up okay so you were asking about some settings right let us see that uh, language settings available inside this additional settings so, yeah database collision you can see here so do you want to start a blank database restore from the backup or selected sample data populate your new database so if you are selecting a sample database they will add a adventure works database a simple sample copy database it contains several list of tables will be created as the sample database or if you want to take any backup over here from any of other server you can able to take this backup over here okay so this is another database created by someone do you want to take that database backup over here you can use i don't want to take any backup database into this one or i don't want to take any sample database so what is the database collation settings you can see here so there are different kind of collations you have find a collation just based on the collation settings what you want to put you can change the collation as well and uh, maintenance window select a preferred maintenance window from the drop down please note during the maintenance event azure databases are fully available and accessible but some of the maintenance updates require a failover or azure task sqldb instance often for short time to apply the maintenance updates so in between this time whatever you are selecting your your azure sql might be updating some updates or upgrades anything it is always available but only few time when it is going to update the failover as the azure takes maintenance updates require a failover as azure sql database instance often for a short period period of the time so very minor time it will go to the offline that time you are not able to access your database if your database is a part of elastic pool the maintenance configuration of the elastic pool will be applied not for the database okay and uh, going to the security protect your data using azure defender for sql unified security package so any vulnerable assessments and advanced threat protection is required then you can use this one it is more securable but i don't want to use this one networking so network connection choose an option for configure connectivity to your service via public endpoints public endpoints or private endpoints so if you don't want to access the sql database from public networks do you want to create a private endpoint you can use this one means via internet i don't want to connect through my vnet means my local ethernet if you want to use to connect this one you can able to set up this one you need to set up private endpoint separately so don't worry about this these things will be taken care by the security admins and the connection policy an encrypted connection so these are not the much things we need to focus because we are a, a sql developers all right let me create this one review and create so what is the cost of elastic pool per month 5400 simply click on create
node id it has created let's go inside go to the resource i want to connect to this sql server the very first thing what you need to do is you need to set server firewall okay so simply click on the server firewall under the server firewall you need to add the ip address of your computer so simply click on add client ip so it is going to generate one client ip this is not your uh, uh, computer ip address this is the intermediary ip address in between your computer and this azure services and also any other azure services like uh, for example i'm going to use azure data factory so i want to load the data from blob storage to this azure uh, sql database by using azure data factory if you want to access this sql server database from the azure data factory or from any other services then you need to use yes allow azure services uh, and resources to access this server you need to enable yes okay so then you need to save this option so if you are not adding this ip address then you are not able to connect to this database you are not able to perform any sql queries so see here what is your sql server name e classes sql dot three dot windows dot this is your server name and elastic pool under the elastic pool it is what is the location it is online everything so how to connect to the sql server see there is a query editor preview so simply click on this query editor preview here you need to enter the username and password to connect to the sql server click ok so now we can able to write down the queries over here so let me create a queries like create a table table name create table emp employee number integer employee name worker salary integer okay so this is how you can able to create a table what happened create table you have to worker where c h a r click run over done so whatever the sql server i created here simply go to your overview i want to connect to the sql server from my local computer so take the server name go to sql manager studio and provide your server name what is the username e classes what is the password you said click connect so from your local computer by using sql management studio we are able to connect to the sql database server what we created and you can see the list of databases available see here we have a databases e classes db tables views external resources synonyms so what are the features you are getting databases security integration catalog let me compare with my sql server installed in my local computer click and connect over here what is the server we have installed last time go to databases sql batch 48 azure click connect this is the sql server i installed in my local computer Just give one minute.
All right. So if you observe here, the SQL Server, this one I have installed in my local computer. So it contains a databases, security, server objects, replication, polybase, many features available SQL agent to schedule the jobs. But a SQL database is getting only three options. So this Azure SQL database is suitable for the new applications when you are going to design you need a simple database to store the database in the back end at the time we can able to prefer this one okay you guys uh, so if i'm changing the class timings instead of 7 daily 9 to 10 are you guys uh, okay or any concerns if we have instead of uh, 7 to 8 if i'm moving the timings to 8 to 9 sorry 9 to 8 9 to 10 Uh, might be my office hours will be started so, I so is it work from home or also your office is at home? Yeah, home. yeah work from home okay. my daily status calls will start at 9 <laughs> yeah yes, for me also usually everybody's uh, office will start at 9 o'clock so okay 8 to 9 will be better right at least okay. if, if you really want to change eight to nine is better but seven to eight is no yeah. really good whatever it is going on right now okay i will try to make it uh, eight to nine i will announce by tomorrow okay if any changes i will okay. let you know if any okay. changes then, uh, it might be definitely eight to nine only. Mm -hmm. Okay. I will have to. Or else uh, seven thirty to eight thirty also fine, but no. Yeah, we'll see. We'll see. Okay. At least before nine only, I will. Yeah, yeah. yeah. People are working. People need some time. Okay. okay. So let's meet yeah. on uh, Monday to discuss about the further topics. Hmm. See, because.